Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to break time. Today we're in Psalm 15, 2 that says, The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart. Now, where did this passage come from? David had this question and he was asking before God that says, Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may dwell in your presence? And he gives this description. The one, I would just want to take apart one part of this. The one whose walk is blameless. That describes you and me. Walk is the way of life. Walk is the way that you and I have determined to live our life. Now, how would you describe it? What does your walk look like? How do the steps that you take every day, the way that you determine how you're going to do life, what is the one word that you want to attach to that? And David's saying, attach blameless. Attach blameless to the way that you want to do life. Blameless means that you're without blame. You do the things that will not lead you to a place of blaming. You're innocent. You're sincere. You're, you've determined to live your life with God in such a way that you're going to be led by his steps. And those steps are blameless. Nobody can find fault. Because you're following, you're with and following as a disciple of Jesus Christ. You're following him. You can't be accused because you're blame. You have no, there's no blame on you. Isn't that amazing? That is the walk that the Lord is determined for you and I to live. Those are the people that have lived their life in a place of worship. Or those who dwell with him are the ones that, whose walk, whose life, is marked by the word blameless. They like doing things. They enjoy doing life in a way that won't cause them to be guilty, won't cause them to be condemned, won't cause them to for people to, to look at them and think, man, I thought they were a Christian. Look how they're living their life. They're without blame because they do what is right. Does that describe you? If not, don't let this be a condemning passage of scripture. Let it be a passage of scripture that says, I want this blameless life, Lord. I want my actions to be, I want my life to be determined by that. That, you know, I, I no longer have to say, oh, it's my fault again. Oh, it's my fault again. But I'm going to do what is right. I want my actions to be determined by what is right. You can do that. I can do that. Now I'm going to fall. There's going to be days where I'm going to have to admit, you know what? It is my fault, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I want to learn from the mistakes that I make. That's blameless. You have a blessed day.